Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sahim from Sahim Tech, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change a file to a zip file. So, before we start, I want to tell you that you should install a software called WinZip, or you can even install another software called WinRare. Both are the same thing. No, it's different softwares, but they have the same purpose. So, I am I have installed WinZip, so I'll be using WinZip in this tutorial. I'll put both the links in the description so that you can click on the link and install one of those software for it's your choice now i want to turn this file which says gradient colors into a zip file i have also opened gmail here so that i can send that file through gmail so i'm going to close this okay Now, first of all, you have to right click on the file you want to turn into a zip file. Then you have to come up and you'll find WinZip. Now, I'll tell you that if you have installed WinRAR, it'll say here WinRAR. Now, if you have installed WinZip like me, it'll, it'll show WinZip. So, I've installed WinZip. So, now I have to click on WinZip and you have to come to the right. And then you have to, so there are a few options here. You'll have to select Add to Zip File. I'm clicking on Add to Zip File. And then now this is an update pop message. Just close it. Okay, now you can see this window should appear on your screen where it says add. You'll have to click on new. And now you can see here we have this window where you can select new zip, win zip file. So here you'll have to select the location where you want to keep the zip file. I'm going to put it in desktop. And then I'm going to put gradient. And I'm going to give it gradient colors. And then I'm going to put add, add, sahim. Okay, I'm going to click on create. So now once you're done with that, now you'll have to select these options if you want, but I'm going to keep it at default. Make sure you check the location again, desktop, and you have to check the file name again. Then just click on add. And then now you can see this is another pop-up which says add complete. Now they have added the file, you can see the desktop over here. Now this shows that the original size was 837.25 KB, but after compression now it is 628.82 KB. So now it has compressed the file also. So you have to click on OK. You have to refresh it. Okay, I've ref okay. Now here you can see the file here was created. This is our zip file. So it's now it's pretty cool. We have our WinZip file over here. Okay. So I'm gonna put it here. Now let's send it to Gmail. I'm gonna go go I'm gonna go here to Gmail. Compose. Okay, I'm gonna put the subject as gradient color. Oh, no, I'm okay, sorry, that's not the spelling. Color, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put here. I'm gonna I'm gonna just put this up. No, I'm just gonna put it that way. Here are the here is the zip file of the gradient colors. I'm just gonna put random. You click attach file. And so okay, here you can see this is the file gradient colors that saw him. Open. Okay. Oh. Okay, now I'm gonna click send. So I've clicked on send and now the message is gone. So so now you can see this is the zip file. If you click on that, it won't show any preview because it's a zip file. So just close it. Now the message is gone. So that's how you turn a file to a zip file. So if you find this video helpful, make sure to give this video, video a like and share with your friends who also want to turn a file to a zip file. And if you have any queries, please put them down in the comment section below. And I will be always there to answer your queries. See you later. Thanks for watching and I'll meet you guys in the next tutorial.